hostilities on the Korean Peninsula broke out in the summer of 1950 when unprovoked North Korea invaded the South. The two countries had previously been won before an arbitrary line of demarcation was drawn at the 38th parallel. 2nd Infantry Division Museum Director William Alexander says it wasn't until the South was nearly erased from the map that the U.S. got involved. President Harry Truman, our 33rd president, made a decision that we would support the Korean people in their uh, quest for freedom. 2nd ID was the first group of U.S. forces to land on the peninsula. Along with other U.S. forces, they managed to push the North Koreans back and finally stabilize the peninsula. An armistice agreement was signed on July 27, 1953, effectively ending all fighting. The second ID left after the signing and returned once again in 1965 with half the number of soldiers and a new mission, one of deterrence. We're part of the ROC U.S. Alliance, and the 2nd Infantry Division stands with our ROC allies, ready to defend freedom here on Freedom's Frontier and ensure that the uh, war does not break out on the peninsula. While there is no fighting on the Korean Peninsula today, troops of the 2nd Infantry Division are in a constant state of training, preparing for the worst. I'm Army Sergeant Josiah Pugh, Camp Red Cloud, Korea. That's the Army Today from Soldiers Radio and Television in Washington. For the latest in military news and information, check out Army.mil.